The Mohunk Mountain House in New Paltz, New York is an architectural puzzle palace, a colorful collision of historical styles and building materials. But it's not the only unusual structure you will find on the property. Some might call this a gazebo, but here at Mohunk Mountain House, they're known as summer houses, and they dot the cliffs and trails surrounding Mohunk. There are 116 of them, and no two are alike. Made of rough-hewn local red cedar, the summer houses were built to provide shelter for Victorian-era hikers, but they also marked special focal points. They were also used and picked by the Smiley family to bring attention to views or vistas or just a, a spot of significance of some kind. Cody Clausen and Terry Myers head up the rustic crew at Mohunk. We talk about having the best job on the mountain. And why is that? The view. Clausen, senior rustic carpenter, is putting the final touches on a rebuild of the Lower Garden Overlook Summer House, enhancing a diamond motif featured in the original design. I spend a great deal of time thinking about framing a view. So a lot of times when you sit in one of these, you're looking at exactly what I want you to look at. At one time, there were more than 150 summer houses scattered over the property. The rustic crew has been rebuilding some that disappeared over the years. Most recently, the Whittier Outlook up on Skytop. And we brought that back based on a picture from 1916. Ambitious Mohunk guests take up the summer house challenge, a scavenger hunt of sorts, attempting to find all 116 of these whimsical constructions. It's amazing because every time you sit in one, you're like, oh, it doesn't get any better than this. And then I can take you to another one and you go, well, wait a minute, this is a little bit better than that one. And so that's what's cool. There's so many of them. While we are on our summer house challenge, we come across visitors from Boca Raton, Florida. So I came here with a previous boyfriend, and when I met Michael, I just loved it so much, and I loved him so much, but he had a love mohunk, or it just wasn't going to work out. Spoiler alert, Michael and Sherry Urban got engaged at Mohunk. They celebrated their first anniversary at Mohunk, and they've spent every summer since with their family at Mohunk. Today, the Urbans are here with daughter Nicole. We've been coming ever since, two, three times a year, depending on uh, our schedules. As a complement to its emphasis on healthy outdoor activities, Mohunk offers what it refers to as Mohunk Muscle Recovery in its new 30,000 square foot spa, filled with warm woods and natural light. Just outside, a mineral pool and the Lakeview Summer House, where yoga and massage take place in the open air. The spa may be a recent addition, but it is a natural extension of Mohunk's core values. Nature permeates Mohunk. You, you look out any window and there's a, a really spectacular view. And part of what's been done at Mohunk over the centuries is inviting the outdoors in and inviting people who are indoors outside. In the dining room, more dialogue with the outdoors. A wall of windows frames a panorama of the Catskill Mountains, including the valley, which supplies much of the food. Any given day, we can have at least 10 different local farms uh, showcased throughout our menu. Steve Anson is chef de cuisine. During peak seasons of summer and fall, his kitchen puts out as many as 600 meals at a single sitting. To put that in poundage, that's about one ton of beef a week. Executive chef, Jim Palmieri. In years past, we've done as many as 1,400 for a Thanksgiving brunch. So the volume is pretty severe at times. Against these daunting numbers, the restaurant can make a claim to being farm to table. Mohunk uses a company that sources a network of local farms for fresh food. We can't have multiple farmers driving up with a pickup truck with turnips in the back. It just doesn't work logistically. Uh, but this company is able to take our order, meet with all her small farms that she deals with, and then in one delivery bring it to us. 
And the original summer houses were built each year by the local farmers. Local farmers, the uh, Smileys picked yeah. the locations, but they left the design up to the builders, hence all the variety in them. Um, the first summer house challenge trying to find them all mm -hmm. was back in 1921. Guests generally stayed the entire summer. Only one person, though, was able to find all 155 in a single season. Wow. It's hard. Uh, did you try it all? <laughs> no, no, no. We did not have time for that. <laughs> all right. Still ahead, venturing into town.